I have a really cool chemistry project you can try at home. It's a crystal pine tree. For this project you'll need a fork, tablespoon, green food coloring, something to combine your mixture in, water, ammonia, bluing, salt, scissors, a shallow dish, I use the top of a jar, some paperboard, and a pencil. First you want to draw the shape of your tree. This can be any shape, but make sure that there's a large flat bottom and your tree has several points. Cut out your tree. Then trace the shape two more times and cut those shapes out as well. Next you want to cut three slots in your tree pieces. The first in the bottom half of the tree, two more in the top half. Take the two pieces with the slot in the top half and fold them at a 90 degree angle. Slot your three pieces together and you've created your tree. Now let's make our crystal solution. Add two tablespoons of salt. Add two tablespoons of water. Add two tablespoons of bluing. Add one tablespoon of ammonia. Lastly, add several drops of the green food coloring. Stir your mixture until all of the salt has been dissolved. The crystals are going to start forming on the points you created on your tree. So to make sure they turn green, we're going to add food coloring to each of the points. Is to place our tree in the middle of our dish and pour our crystal solution on top. Last thing to do is just wait. Your crystal should start growing overnight. So what allows these beautiful crystals to form literally overnight? Well, the first thing that happens is that your paperboard soaks up a bunch of the mixture that you created. This is called capillary action and is actually what allows trees and plants to soak up water and nutrients from the soil. The next thing that happens is that a lot of the moisture starts evaporating, leaving behind small particles of bluing and salt. These create the crystals you see. And there you have it. That's how your tree is made. So there are obviously a ton of variations you can do on this project. You can use different colors, cut different tree shapes. If you leave it longer, your crystals will get even bigger. We'd love to see what you create, so please share with us on Facebook. As always, like, comment, subscribe, keep tinkering, and I'll see you next time.